Hi everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do May readings for all the zodiac signs. Keep in mind that they are general readings, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. This reading is going to be for Virgo. Uh, let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Virgo. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is the daydreaming card, the fantasizing card. It's also, in other decks, you would see the young kid under a tree, and he's so fixed on the Three Cups that he doesn't see the fourth one coming in. And that could be an unexpected offer as well. So we'll see how this plays out for your reading, Virgo. The signifier in here is a knight of swords. Now he's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But more so, he's the fastest knight out of all of them. See that ball of light on his sword? That's his truth. And he's going to come in and he's going to cut through the bullshit and get right down to the heart of the matter. They're very swift with their communications as well. Now, Virgo, what crosses you? One of my favorite cards. The High Priestess. She's all about intuition. That's why she's art, just like the moon. It pulls her. It guides her. And she trusts in it. She knows secrets? <laughs> oh yeah. But make no mistake that she's a person that knows a lot more than what she says. So just those two cards alone, Virgo, you get somebody who's cutting through the BS to get to the truth. And then you get somebody who knows secrets, who knows more than what she's saying. Now there's a conflict. Hmm. In your foundation, we have a Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is usually depicted as a Taurus. But more so, it's marriages. It's higher learning institutes, colleges, perhaps. I call it the Faith and Hope card. Now, having faith and having hope, Virgo, in your foundation, in your core, it's a pretty good thing. Now what's crowning your reading, Virgo? You go. Ten of Cups. That is the emotionally fulfilled on every single level. Wife's great. Husband's great. Kids are great. Job's great. Got a unicorn in the backyard. Total emotional fulfillment. I'm right, Virgo. Now, in your recent past, you have the Queen of Swords. Now, this is funny because the signifier is her messenger. And again, she's got a ball of light at the end of her sword because she's coming with her truth, too. This is somebody who does not wear their heart on their sleeve. They mean what they say. They say what they mean. No emotions involved here. They're great communicators. A lot of times they're depicted as a lawyer. And they speak their truth. More so than anything. So if her truth hurts somebody, so be it. Now, Virgo, going into your future. Got the Ace of Cups. Beautiful card. This is the brand new Aces are always brand new. And more so, this is something on an emotional level. Aces are always about the universe putting an opportunity in front of you and see if you take it or not. 
it's a Virgo. How I see this is that if you keep your faith, if you keep your hope, if you speak your truth, but don't go too far with it. This is the goal. So how people see you in your environment, Virgo, you get the Seven of Cups. You get options. Everything in each cup looks pretty good. Which one do you choose? Which one's the right one for you? Maybe that's where she comes in. But people look at you as a person that has, you know what? She's got options. Not a bad thing. Now, in your environment, Virgo, another major arcana. You get temperance. And temperance is all about staying balanced. As you can see, she's halfway in water and she's halfway out. Balancing the two and water being of the emotions. This is balancing emotions. Your head and over your heart. And by being balanced, you stay more clear. So Virgo, pretty good reading. It's about staying balanced. You have choices. You have options. Staying true to yourself. Because you got a brand new sentimental offer that's coming to you. Maybe you've been daydreaming about it. That cup that comes out of nowhere that the kid's looking at. It's kind of the same cup the universe is offering you. Yes, it is. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, Virgo, you get the Six of Pentacles. You get the Generosity card. Now, you can see that there's scales. And this card is all about being balanced in the give and the take. Make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving. Okay? And that goes perfect with temperance. Balance. Balance. And with the Queen of Wands, excuse me, Queen of Swords here, and staying in your truth to make sure that you are receiving as much as you're giving. She won't let that happen. Remember, emotions are not, you know, a part of who, of who she is. I mean, does she have them? Yeah. But does she, uh, you know, incorporate them in business, in communications? No. And the reason why I'm saying this to you, Virgo, because your outcome card is the king of swords. Now, there you are. The master of their of their suits. He's the no bullshit guy. Get to the heart of the matter. Okay. These people do not mess around. Like I said before, they mean what they say. They say what they mean. What they mean. You know, emotions do not play a part. Whether this is career, business, or Maybe you are starting a new relationship. Very well could be. And you've just met your, uh, your counterpart. You met your equal. And you're both on the same page. Because you both ain't messing around. So Virgo... On any sense, whether this is business, whether this is all about 
Excuse me. I can't remember to shut that off. Sorry. Whether this is business sense, if this is a romantic sense, either way, okay, yeah, speak your truth. Don't give all your secrets away. Not yet. Not all at once. Stay in your truth. Because you are a person with options. And as long as you stay balanced in the give and take, and the give and take could be information that you share. Just know how much to give and how much you should keep back to yourself. Because Virgo, you're welcome. <laughs> Saddle up that unicorn. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing my channel. It's so appreciated. Thank you for all the comments out there. You guys are awesome. And I do have um, openings for private readings. So check out all the information that's in the box below. Till then, take care.